It's 851. Our guests this morning are helping to breach a difficult topic for a lot of us, and that's the loss of a child. Lisa Loudon started the Missing Alexis Foundation after her daughter's death. Kelly Walsh is the board chair of the organization now. Great to see you both. Thank, Thank you, you for so having us for this morning. Us. Thank you. Uh, it certainly is, um, we were talking earlier, almost a taboo topic for a lot of people. It is. But this month you're really focused about it because of what happened with you. Correct. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. Um, in 1988, Ronald Reagan uh, proclaimed October 15th, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day. So we are trying to coincide the walk to recognize the month. Families who have um, experienced a loss either during pregnancy or the first years of life. And you found when you lost Alexis that there really wasn't anywhere to turn. Um, we live in northern Kentucky and when we reached out um, for support, we found that most of the resources that were available to us were across the river here in Cincinnati. And there just wasn't much in the northern Kentucky area. So to have the courage to reach out and just find dead ends was really discouraging. So and you're we, changing that now. We're trying to change that right now, trying to change that through the walk, promoting awareness, um, sponsoring a support group in the area. And, um, you know, you never want to see this club grow larger, but, you know, the need is there and we want it to remain there for people. And part of that awareness, Kelly, is what's happening next Saturday, this yes, walk. Talk that's me correct. through that. Um, our walk is October 12th. It is at the Boone County Arboretum. It's at Central Park. Um, registration, um, pre registration actually is happening now at www.missingalexis.org. Um, you can pre register online or just come the day of the event. It's free for all participants. Um, we will have the walk starting at 2. And then afterwards, there will be a, some keynote speakers and a balloon release for everyone that has been affected by this. We can release the balloons and then refreshments will be following. <laughs> I, I do want to point out what you sure. brought here of this yes. is just part of your outreach. This is correct. Um, one of the things that we do through our donations is we create boxes um, to be given out at local hospitals for families having experienced a loss. One of the things we found was that um, during our loss, um, when we got to the hospital, we weren't prepared. We didn't have a camera. We didn't have anything for our daughter um, to dress her in, to take pictures of her, to just to record the short time that we had yeah. with her. And so we've tried to have kind of a one stop for nurses, doctors to be able to hand this to a family and say, you know, we don't, we can't understand your loss, but we hope that this is something that you can no one goes there take with you. Yeah. Correct, correct. Um, so we give these to, to local hospitals, especially St. Elizabeth. Um, the walk markers will be available. Um, they'll be around the walk loop for families, you know, that would like to honor their children. They'll be seen by all participants. They'll get to take these home with them after the walk. Um, and Great we're work. just hopeful that, you know, it acknowledges and validates their loss and that it was a real life um, that they, they miss, right? Thank you both for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's a tough topic, but you do Thank it with, you. with grace. You really do. Thank you so much. And again, the walk is next Saturday. We'll be back after the break.